Hi, I'm Rod McKinnon. Uh, we're farming just south of Matamata Hinuera, uh, milking 400 cows. A few years ago, we decided that our effluent system wasn't up to scratch. Through some planning and discussions over 12 months, we decided that um, not only would we upgrade our effluent system, but we would build a feed pad for the cows as well. So our existing pond that needed replacing had some issues. It had spring water coming in and it was a clay lined pond that had not enough capacity for us, definitely no 90 day storage. So our main focus was initially on setting up the new effluent pond and adding as much technology to that as we could to make it foolproof and, and, and completely meet all of the standards that were required by council. The whole process took us probably 18 months from consultation through to the finished product. The total cost for the project was about $207,000 but it, it involved a lot of work by myself and, and staff. So we went for a very high-end tech system that I can operate off my phone or my computer. It gives us the ability to know that when any problems happen we get alerted to them and that is sent to me via a text on my phone. With you know the focus in farming around effluent and a lot of farmers struggling with that we've been able to help a lot of farmers. We get a lot of visitors on farm who are interested in the system and who can take those ideas away and implement them into their own processes. Our original process that we started here was to replace an existing clay line pond which uh, had been in about 30 years and had developed some leakage in it. So we decided that we would build a new effluent pond and, and use that in, in a lined pond situation which would take enough storage for about 110 days coming off effluent fed from our feed pad and from the cow shed area. So we have a 400 cow feed pad which is cleaned with a flood wash system. So we have about 60,000 litres of water comes down the feed pad cleaning away any effluent on there which then comes down to a solids bunker where about 70% of the solids is taken out of the effluent and then the rest goes through into the effluent pond. The pond is 3 million litres and currently pumps to about 75 hectares of the farm. So the whole system is controlled uh, with a monitoring system that gives us the ability to measure exactly how much effluent is going on in all areas of the farm. It also gives us the ability to control it with the phone. The phone has a cloud-based system that, that allows us to turn it on but it does a range of things. It also will tell us if we've had any issues, if the irrigator has stopped, if it's burst a pipe. It also, the system controls the ability of the farm is all geofenced so that uh, no effluent can go into any waterways because it's GPS uh, calibrated and the whole area that is in wetlands and in streams is completely out of bounds for the effluent. So here we have our solid separation bunker that is extracting a huge amount of the, the solid particles of the effluent which we then spread onto our cropping ground, emptying it about three times a year. So it's not always onto cropping ground, but usually in the spring and in the autumn we can get it onto there. So the system was pretty much self-designed. We looked at some weeping walls and things like that, but, but this was a simplistic system. It is very low tech, but it works extremely well. The solids in there, is, that's just about ready to be emptied now at the point where it's at. One of the keys to it is the baffle system that we put in here and that is forcing the water up from the bottom of the, of the tank and, and the solids are staying in there. So any solids particles are staying down and the water is coming up through and out into the pond where we irrigate Tom. With the continuing environmental pressure in farming today, it's been great for us to be able to share our system with other farmers. Because they can implement it into their farming practice with such ease and monitor their systems 24 hours, 7 days a week, knowing that they're fully compliant all the time.